some reason, ever since I've been doing this, uh, this character, we've always just had this idea of what would he be like if he was old. We tried to do it in Bloodline, um, and you see it very quickly, he's got white eyes, and he's, he's very old, but you do kind of miss it. So that's one of the reasons that this whole No More Souls project came about, was an opportunity to kind of uh, you know, really create a piece based on a look that we might never see, which was this old, this old age Pinhead. And from that kind of came, well, why would Pinhead get old, and if he's old, maybe nothing left for him to do, you know, he's seen it all, and he's just, he's just kind of, you know, I'm kind of going into the philosophy of it now, but the act of doing what they do, it's kind of given them strange immortality, and allowed them to have these terrible configurations done to their skin. They're not doing this, you know. Uh, time is catching up with him. That's me explaining it. The truth is, it just looks cool. Yeah, and uh, I just, I thought it'd be a fun thing to do. You know. Splinters when I'm sitting at the computer. It's What's a computer? What's a computer? Well, it's done. Well, it's constructed, we'll put it that way. It's going down. The most completed on Pinhead's throne. Old Pinhead throne, don't That's all right, we're doing a short with Pinhead's on the throne. Well, as you can see, you've got. Um, a large percentage of the brickwork up. I'm working on the two outer panels on the other side of the set there. Uh, Gary has fabricated Pinhead's throne. He did all of that himself uh, in the space of about uh, six hours. And the next step will be to, after we finish the brickwork, will be to start painting. piece. This is where I insert all the little pins into Pinhead's face. The only difference is this is our old age Pinhead now. Very old age for, uh, for No More Souls. She's going to be worn by a very strange actor. Oh, the front has pretty much been solidified. And now I'm just lining everything up and putting it together like a which is doing a marvellous job. I'm I'm Alexander Dane, and I will be playing Pinhead today. It's the first time for me. I'm looking forward to it. Which is doing a marvellous job. Gary Tunnicliffe, the director, is over there, and he says I should do the. It's very exciting. Yeah. I'm looking forward to it. Normally, I only do Shakespeare, so this is very odd for me. I'm looking forward to it. Actually. Let's see. 1982. Oh, my eyes, my eyes! Oh, my word. Somebody needs his breakfast. I didn't hear that at home. 
Its stomach is just something akin to a large underground subsidence. So, you you were saying that you worked in England for a while? Who, me? Yes. Yeah, I, I like, I, I worked with, yeah. Did you see any theater? Um, you mean like, you mean like, I went to a couple strip shows, that kind of thing? Oh, yeah. English theater just died, theater, you mean this like, is the reason. You mean like that dinner theater thing where you sit down and the girls come out and the... Stop. No. Oh. Um, actually, I, I, I did see some uh, theater when I was there. Yeah, um, um, what was that mo uh, movie? What was a play? Um, it was that. The Liaison Dangerous? No, it was uh, Burn This with uh, John Malkovich and Juliet Stevenson, actually. I wasn't in that. Oh, well. No, I was looking for you. I couldn't find you. Rush art. You know? Art is a thing, like my father always used to say. Art is a thing, is a thing, is a thing. He was a very strange man. I always remember the words he said to me before he died. He said, A truck! <laughs> yes. See, today I'm happy. Yesterday I was a miserable swine. Why? Because I was wearing a stupid makeup. Now I'm a DP! <laughs> A French DP, which is even better. Because as everyone knows, the French smell, I think. <laughs>